How's everybody doing? Morning, YouTube. Uh, today, I'm here to talk about the uh, Security Plus SY501 exam. Um, I'm in the military, uh, stationed at Fort Bragg. I just passed the exam uh, two days ago, which was Friday. Today's Sunday. Uh, I was very, very excited. It's like a load uh, off my shoulders, like a big time relief. Um, everybody that does these type of videos always shows their score. So I got a 70, 75. I didn't even, you know, so I don't know if that's high. I don't know if that's low. All I know is over <laughs> 750. So uh, I'm basically going to talk to you guys today about kind of like I saw a lot of preparatory videos and that really helped me seeing the success of others. So I'm just going to talk about kind of like what I did to ensure success. Like I say, I'm in the military, um, you know, I always send my soldiers to take the exam. You know, a lot of them fail, you know, some of them pass, but a lot of them fail. So basically what I did was, you know, I kind of like interviewed or talked to the soldiers as they was coming out. Hey man, what was it like? Oh, it was hard. It was hard, it was hard. I heard eight, nine, 10 people say, hey, this test is hard. So I made a conscious decision like, okay, if I heard eight, nine people say it's hard, I don't need to just start studying, you know, the moment that they have the class because in the military, they offer us a class for two weeks that'll prepare you to take the test. I need to start studying weeks in advance, you know, just to make sure that I set myself up for success. So as I was watching uh, videos, uh, guys was telling me, you know, hey, watch Professor Messer, who, you know, uh, and then make sure the, the two key things I saw when I watched about 10, 15 videos, they said, hey, watch Professor Messer videos and make sure you get a book. So I went out and got a book for Security Plus. This is by Mr. Daryl Gibson. And I'm going to tell you something. This book right here was worth every single penny. You know what I mean, I think I got it for like either 20 or $30 off Amazon. But, you know, I am a I am a visual learner, but I also am a kinesthetic learner. I have to do it as well. I cannot just, you know, listen to somebody say I have to do it. So basically, you know, I can read and then I can do and I can listen. I have to use a combination of learning styles. So um, I would not, me personally, I would not just depend on Professor Messer to prepare you. You know, it gives you a good broad overview of what's going on, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not enough. So, you know, I will watch the Professor Messer videos, then I would read the book, and then I will go back and watch the videos, and it made that much more sense. That's just what I did, okay? Um, in the military, like I say, when we sign up for the class, they give us this website. It's uh, called Transcender. Um, that is really, really helpful for taking the test because as you take the test, it actually gives you an explanation of what you did right or wrong. I remember that like when I was taking those CLEP exams a long time ago and they would give you like a little CD that go with the CLEP book. That, that, I like that, you know, that kind of helps me study. If I can see like the wrong answers and see why this is wrong, it, it actually gives me an explanation of why I was wrong. So I use that, I use Transcender a lot. Um, inside of the uh, CompTIA study guide, they have a website, I think it's called like Wiley X or something like that. Uh, I actually use that one as well to take the exam. Sometimes I would take them with the explanations. Sometimes I would take it in exam mode where it's just like you just take the test and it gives you the uh, score at the end. Uh, I was watching a couple of videos and they said, hey, you shouldn't just rely solely on the test. And I believe that's right, too, because after a while, you know, you take the test 10 times, you're going to start memorizing answers. And that's not the purpose of it. The purpose of it is to, hey, get it right. OK, good. Hey, get it wrong. Hey, why is it wrong? And then go over why is it wrong and then use like a study guide to actually go and read the explanation of it or use Professor Messer, however best suits your learning style. But um I will say, you know, um, my, just to wrap everything up, the last state of advice that I would say is, hey, you know, for those of us that's in the military and they give you that two-week class, uh, please do not wait uh, for that two-week class to begin to start studying. You know, you should probably start studying, you know, three to four weeks before that class. That way, when you get in that class, 
you know, you that's just a, like a review. Like, just for me, I think I started studying three weeks before the class. And I, and I studied one domain every week. I started from the first domain, which is like, what, 22% of the exam. So by the time I walked into the class, I was solid on three domains. Like I, first, second, and third domain, I was solid because I, I studied one week per domain and studied the entire domain, uh, took the transcendent test, read about it in the book, watched the whole professor message study study guide videos, and that prepared me. So when I walked into class, that gave me the chance to learn four, five, and six because I already had one, two, and three there. But like I said, I'm not going to talk y'all deaf. Like I said, I'm very, very, it's, it's a goal that I've been trying to accomplish for a long time, and I'm very, very excited that I got it done. And I look forward to the other uh, tests and exams that I'm going to take in the future. All right. But uh, like I say, I just passed it today. So anybody in the military um, or in the civilian world, just know it is attainable and uh, you can get it done. All right. Thanks.